1 Samuel 10, verse 1. Get this. Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? When you study the scripture, 1 Samuel chapter 10, when you begin to study, you understand that there was a man called Saul who so many things had been missing from his father's house and he set on, his, on, on a journey to recover those things and he met with Samuel the prophet and Samuel poured, an, poured oil on his head anointed him and said is it not because the Lord has anointed thee and then the next thing Samuel began to tell him that there will be restoration these things that you are looking for have been found because of the anointing. I began to understand revelation when you, when you study the word Christ, it simply means the anointed one and his anointed. When you have come into fellowship with Christ, you are anointed. And anointing brings with it restoration. So yeah, that's while you were in the world, while you were living in sin, while you were not born again, you lost so much. But here does the moment you are now in Christ. The Bible says, he says, he says, anyone who is in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. What does that mean? It means no more losses in your life. It means no more a repetition of the same things you experienced while you were in the world. It means that your life in Christ should be a life of testimonies. Good things happening, amazing things happening. Restoration, abundance, no more losses because of the anointing. If it is not happening in your life, child of God, it doesn't mean that you are not born again. It means you have to stir up the anointing on the inside of you. All right? You need to spend time in prayer. You need to spend time fellowshipping with the Word. Fellowship with the Word, pray in the Holy Ghost. All right, meditate on the things of God, and let and let the nature of Christ come alive in you. Let the nature of Christ produce in you, produce through you, and let your environment attest to it. I pray a decree over your life in the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration. In Jesus' name, there shall be restoration in your life. There shall be restoration. There will be restoration in your finances. There will be restoration in your marriage. Restoration in your relationship. Restoration in every area of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is done. It is settled. This is your one-minute clip extended. Share this and bless somebody. This is Moses' order.